Hi guys, I hope everyone's all right. I hope you had a great Christmas. It's um, Wednesday the 27th, so it's the day after Boxing Day. Of course, of course we've still got the tree going. It's really early in the morning. I thought the light is still dark outside, so the tree's got to be on straight away. So I hope everyone had a great Christmas. Uh, of course, there's 2024 to look forward to and all the new music we're going to get again. I mean, man, it's just mental. For the first video today... Um, I'm going to listen to some Crimson Glory teasers. Now, I've already listened to one teaser, but didn't have any singing in it. So this is a one and a half minute teaser, and I've been thinking, well, I'll do a reaction to that. Make a change, when it? It's a bit like a trailer. There are reactions to trailers out there. People do them all the time. This is like a trailer of music, isn't it? So why not? Let's just hear some snippets of the new Crimson Glory album. I don't know if it's... A, a snippets off of just a single i know there's two singles that are going to be coming out um so my, my crimson glory history one of my favorite they bought out two of my favorite albums of the 80s you know the self-titled album was just amazing i think that was 86 then in 88 they bought one of my favorite albums ever out called transcendence it's just a classic classic metal album with slightly proggy elements of course they've got that queen's reich they've always had that queen's reich feel about them as well um and but they were very i mean midnight the singer midnight who sadly has passed away now was just one of the best singers ever and oh, man if i actually name you know i think it's only the amount of records he'd been on or the amount of music he'd been on that stopped him becoming one of the best singers ever ever produced you know and i still look back at him now and think wow man you know it's almost forgotten sometimes about how good he was just an amazing singer the heights he could sing at but his tone and everything was gorgeous um and then they what they've done they bought out another album which was strange and beautiful and changed direction a little bit i think couldn't get into that album that was 91 a bit of a difficult time probably for the band and this sort of music altogether. Um, and Astronomica in 99 was sort of like, was a sort of a return to their old sound, but didn't quite hit, didn't quite hit as hard as those first couple of albums. It was Wade Black on vocals, actually. So Todd the Tora joined the band for a little while, brought out a little sort of like a demo uh, song. It was called Gaiden of Shadows or Garden of Shadows. I can't remember exactly what it was called, but it was a good track. And I was really looking forward to more music from with Todd the Torah, but it never happened. Of course, he joined Queensryche, and that's what it is now. I'm so glad he joined Queensryche, because we got Queensryche back as well. Um, and now they're back again. And I've heard some really good things. I, I like the little bit snippet of music I heard, but it didn't give me the full... It did sound like Crimson Glory of the 80s, I must admit. But it didn't give us the full version. You know, we, we need to hear some vocal. And I've heard some good things about this vocalist. So Travis Willis is a vocalist. Was in a band called Infidel Rising. Um, they've got a new guitarist as well called Mark Borgmeyer. Um, from the band called The Lost Boys, I think. Now John Drennan has gone. He's the old guitarist and a bit of a songwriter. I think he's one of the main songwriters as well. So there's a bit of a fear there that the songwriting may be not as good as it was. But you've got founding members Ben Jackson, Jeff Lords and um, Dana Burnell. So they're still in the band. So, it, you know, there's three of them. You know? <laughs> and you can, you know, Queensryche is a good example of, you know, some of the main people going. And Chris DeGarmo, you know, going from Queensryche and the band just having an outstanding run of albums with uh, Todd Latoura. So it can happen. It's not like it can't happen. You know what I mean? The band can still be great. So rambled on enough this is um this actual beginning of this rambly rambling on is gonna be longer than the actual teaser itself <laughs> which is a bit shit i'm sorry about that um but here we go this is crimson glory new music teaser um from the new album here we go i'm just so excited about this here we go
quite hard, isn't it? With teaser and little snippets to, you know, get into the groove of the music. That's not what it's all about. But yeah, I mean, you know what? If you put this on, if you actually, if I heard this now and didn't know it was a new teaser for the new album, you could be, you know, you could be forgiven for thinking it's like, you know, long lost parts of some 80s stuff from Crimson Glory. It really, you know, he's got, I'm not saying he's a copy. He definitely doesn't sound like a copy of Midnight, but he's got some similarities there. The tone is quite similar. Um, and I think that's what you should have with Crimson Glory, you know. I think Midnight was such an unmistakable and great part of the band. You, you, It's no point in getting a singer that doesn't sound anything like. I think you need that to, for the Crimson Glory sound, the epic feel of the the sound of the band. There seems some quite things seem quite progressive, and you know, and as Crimson Glory were, some especially at the beginning, there was like an odd time signature going on. There's lots of light and shape by the sounds of it, some acoustic stuff and some clean guitar stuff, and some quite heavy stuff as well. It do, it obviously sounds like snippets off of a lot of the album rather than I thought it might be one of the singles or something like that. Unless this single does all that in one song, but I don't think so. So there's two singles coming out. One is actually available already on their website, which is going to be released worldwide, I believe, on January the 20th. Triske Decker, I think it's called. Really weird name, I don't know. And they've got Indelible Ashes as well. Two new singles been announced, but first one, January the 20th, which I'm really excited about. Um, yeah, it's, it just sounds cool, man. Everything about that little teaser, that sounded like Crimson Glory. And I think... You know, I know we like some of us want bands in a certain way to not retread paths that they've done before. But I think with Crimson Glory, where they've only had like four albums out, I think the right thing is to go back and start at the beginning and give us everything we loved about Crimson Glory. And I, you know, that's what I want. I want them to sound like they used to, especially songwriting wise. You know what I mean? They don't have to be a carbon copy, but they has to be good songwriting. And from the snippets I've heard, it's really hard to tell, but it does sound fucking great. That's all I can say about all that. Vocally sounds amazing. Production sounds really good as well. We know we've got snippets there. The, the sound of it really, really does sound almost transcendence um, time, 88 sort of time, but with a newer, sort of brighter production. You've got to remember the bass was quite low, wasn't it, I think, on that transcendence album, but... It was a good production, but the bass was quite low, especially compared to the debut. But both of them albums were just fantastic, especially Transcendence, one of the best metal albums I've ever heard in my life from start to finish. Never get tired of listening to anything on that album either. It's just, you know, it's definitely past the test of time for sure. This sounds great, man. It really does. It gives me everything that I remember about Crimson Glory. Really looking forward to it. Really excited. Thanks for... A few people saying have you heard it have you heard it and luckily enough i only heard the the first snippet which was the music and i didn't hear this with the vocals as well and um i'm pretty blown away by that teaser it sounds great it doesn't it, it really sounds cool all us crimson glory fans are like yeah at last <laughs> tell me what you think of that um little teaser have you heard it yet? What did you think? If it's the first time you heard it, what do you reckon? Are you a Crimson Glory fan? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you soon.